Hello everyone, welcome to part 157 of Laravel 10 series in which uh, we are creating the e-commerce website and in this video we are going to update the order status in the last few videos we have seen that uh, we are able to show the order details here you can see the orders that comes up uh, now shown in the admin panel uh, the client can able to see all the orders and the client can able to see the order order detail as well okay so now uh, see uh, now see when the order comes uh, at that time the status of the order is new you can see the status of the order is new and the client or, or uh, you can say the admin can able to update the status of the order manually uh, to in process or pending then later on he can able to update the status to shift okay with the tracking details see first of all we are going to uh, we are going to cover this as uh, a small business okay like this small business client is going to update the orders manually okay or we can say this startup uh, like uh, the the person who who is just starting his business uh, is going to manually update the order status uh, first that person uh, it will do uh, some kind of uh, uh, linking with the courier partner with the shipping partner and that shipping partner will come uh, at the uh, seller place and will pick all the orders okay and will uh, will give the tracking numbers okay so those tracking numbers we are going to manually update here in the admin panel means client can manually update here in the admin panel that is the manual process and that is the first process of the e-commerce website see we have seen in the multi vendor e-commerce series and the other series we have done this process automatic uh, with the third party we have integrated that third party integration and uh, the core partner automatically updates and we pick those status with api and updates that automatically with the cron job okay that we should do like every time i with within every half an hour we are going to see the status is going to update okay we are going to verify that where the courier reach okay so that is the third party integration but before that we must integrate the manually integration and we are going to integrate this manually right now okay so here we are going to show uh, some status like uh, uh, we are going to show some common status uh, like right now the status is new and uh, see first the status is new after that the status is uh, we can give it pending or status can be cancelled uh, see if the uh, if the uh, admin thinks that the order is not get uh, not from the uh, authenticated person then uh, then he can also cancel that order or he can uh, that block that order or something see you can add the status of your own we are going to manage the status we are going to create the table for this uh, for managing this order status and after that we are going to show the status here okay so that the admin can update one of these status manually so uh, here uh, another status is like in process and other than that shipped and other than that pars uh, partially shipped okay S suppose if one of the item is shipped and another item is not shipped delivered when the order gets delivered and uh, partially delivered see order gets partially delivered not completely delivered and the last one is the like paid or we can say the payment captured see you are going to add the paid or payment captured one of the status okay like this so these are the status that we are going to add uh, with cedar but first of all we are going to create the order status table and you can add more status or you can update the status as per your own requirement okay so we are going to create now uh, one table uh, to add we're going to create first the migration file uh, so that we can uh, create this uh, order status table uh, so i'm going to uh, straight away this is my project right click services new terminal add folder and i'm going to create the migration file php artisan make migration and oh, uh, see we are going to name it like create orders order see create order uh, states status uh, s t a t u s e s okay underscore table so we're going to open this one uh, create 
order uh, order status table okay so here see two columns we required one is name and one is status okay one is the name for that order particular status of the order okay uh, table string name and another one is tiny integer status that will be one or zero if we want to deactivate any status at any, any time so i'm going to run now php addition magnet to create this table see the table has been created i'm going to check once here i'm going to see this is our database project 10 uh see order uh, where it is see here it is okay order states okay so this is the structure of the order states is table so now we are going to create this header file okay so another command we are going to run now uh, but first of all we will create the model also php addition make model model for this table order status okay so now uh, we are going to create the uh, table header okay php artisan see all these things are really important migration and header because see now uh, there is a separate series in which we have started working on the laravel 11 with mongodb that is the no sql database and at and in that series we require all these kind of things migration cedar okay uh, so that we can uh, see if in case we want to move this project to some other place to some other system then we can easily create the complete project with few migration commands few uh, with the few composer commands we can easily do that thing okay like uh, we there are a few commands like the uh, migra mig migration fresh seed so such kind of command uh, completely copy we can completely copy our project from one place to another with these few commands okay so uh, and that uh, that is also possible with the help of the git okay so i will explain you everything uh, okay but these are really important like migration as well as the seeding are really important so never miss it uh php addition uh we are going to create the migration uh, that cedar okay php addition make cedar and uh we are going to name it like order status table cedar okay so i'm going to open this one order status table cedar and now here uh, i'm going to include that uh, model use app model and here what is the model name order status order status okay so this is the model and now here we are going to uh, add all the statuses that why we want to uh, add with the help of cedar order status records okay so id one name is new and status is one now pending cancelled in process shipped and other one is uh, partially shipped okay so we are going to add all one by one partially shipped and after that we are going to add deliver then partially delivered as well so we are going to add this one as well partially delivered 
and after this we are going to add paid or payment captured okay so these are the status uh, that uh, we want to add uh, uh, this one I think payment captured is better payment captured so after here uh, we are going to add order status uh, insert and here order uh, that thing order status records that is done okay so uh, we are going to modify the database seeder here database seeder and here we are going to command the earlier one and uh, add one more and we are going to command this one and going to call this order table seeder uh, this one okay so we will finally run that php addition db seed command php addition db seed okay in some cases you require dump auto load command composer dump auto load if in case some error comes okay otherwise uh, this command if you will give uh, there are uh, no commands i think some issue php artisan uh, php artisan uh, db seed sorry yeah single single colon okay uh, so see some error is coming uh, constant duplicate entry one okay insert into uh, there is some issue uh, see this one is the issue okay so don't do this one the id must be incremented eight and nine now we are going to do once again and here we are going to see php addition db seed and this time the data has must arrived okay i'm going to click on browse okay to see whether the data has come up yes the data has come up. you can see and the status for all the uh, uh status is one all are active right now all status are active right now okay so now uh, we are going to show all the status here okay uh, and for that uh, we are going to update the order details function uh, that we have earlier created in the last video in order controller so we are going to modify that order controller in admin and we are going to create the order status here uh, public function and here uh, sorry here not here but we are going to add the status here only okay so yeah so here order status status this and here we are going to add from order status model we are going to add and make sure the status must be one okay means status must be active only the active status we are going to display get to array okay so we are going to check once that the status are coming here or not okay and uh, this uh, order status we are going to add its model at the top now check once if the status are coming here uh, yes all the status are coming here you can see the new pending cancelling uh, cancelled in process uh, shipped okay so all these status are coming so it's fine i'm going to command this one and this order status we're going to return here to the blade file i'm going to open now order detail blade file order detail uh, at admin and here uh, update order status we are going to show all the status here okay uh, so here uh, one by one we are going to show all the status in for each loop that are coming from there so we are going to do one thing here uh, we are going to uh, take the call span 2 here and, and here uh, in this one only in this one we are going to add every this one we are going to remove okay we are going to write here now uh, we are going to add form here and inside form here uh, see here action uh, we are going to give okay no issue but uh, okay let's give the action also uh, we will make the url like uh, in under admin update order status simple one update order status okay so this one is the action and method we are going to take as post along with the csrf token and here uh, we are going to first take the 
input type hidden order id for order id we are going to take it like this name is the order id and value for this one that is coming in order details array for order details id is coming okay so here uh, select uh, so here uh, we are going to here give the status order status order status like this and uh, here uh, we are going to give the values uh, all the values will come up here but first uh, we are going to give here the uh, select uh, empty select then for each loop will come in which we are going to uh, give all the values here okay for each loop uh, what we are sending from there order states like this and dollar as dollar status we're going to end for each and here inside this we are going to add sorry uh, here option all the option we are going to show here value value and here dollar status name okay so this one we are also going to show this here also like this okay so uh, after this after select we are going to uh, give button here button type submit update so let's check once how it looks uh undefined variable order status see check once that why this issue is coming uh check there that what we are sending it's order status like this and this one we are using here yeah that's why now i'm going to refresh and now we must have all the status here ah uh, yes we have all the status okay we update order status and we can see all these status are coming here as well okay uh, so this one uh, for updating the status once we will update and click one we will select and then we can click on update to update that particular status okay so now uh, we are going to modify this one we are going to create this uh, uh, route okay update order status route so that uh, we can able to update this status as well uh so i'm going to open the web.php route file and here uh, we are going to add this one under admin and here i'm going to add here update order status and here i'm going to add the post route for this one post uh we're going to give this one update order status the action that we have given there order controller under con order controller we are going to create the function update order status this okay so this function we are going to create under order controller this function here we are going to create this function public function update order status and here uh we are going to give the uh, request uh, we will get uh, from the form and first we are going to get that in post method if dollar request is method post so we are going to get it here and dollar data we are going to first check that whether we are going to get uh, that request dollar dot request all and we are going to check it once that whether we are getting the, that status that the admin want to update here uh, okay so Oh. So 
so check once like if we are going to click on update here uh, it is not showing anything let's see why uh, I'm going to refresh once and now I'm going to like click on cancel click on update uh, update order status I think there is some issue update order status here route must be matching update order status uh, okay I think there is some issue in route now it must work let's refresh and we'll try again okay so now we're going to try again and click on pending click on update uh, no still it is showing uh, see we have no we have not added it at the right place so don't make this silly mistake at your end uh, we need to add this one under admin okay so i have wrongly added there but we need to add this one orders route here so now it must work so uh, let's go back refresh it and then we are going to try once again and now we will try once again to update the status so that is the benefit of debugging okay so now it is coming fine okay so now we can move further uh, we will uh, simply update the order status we are getting the id as well you can see that we are getting the id as well so uh, so now we can easily able to update the order status okay so here in order table uh, we are going to update the order status as a whole for the complete order okay here uh, we are not updating the order status item wise okay so for that you can watch the multi vendor e-commerce series in which uh, we are uh, item wise up up updating this status but here we are managing the status as a whole so here uh, we are going to compare it with the id so i can simply write like this id uh, dollar order id uh, order and from sorry dollar data order id order id is coming from there we have added it as a hidden field earlier on and then we will simply update the order status status uh, to uh, the that we are also sending from there order status okay so uh, this one this so after this uh, we are going to send uh, return the message uh, success message there uh, so message will be something like uh, order status uh, has been updated successfully okay so here we are also uh, going to see how we are showing the message i just want to see uh, we are showing the success message so same kind of thing we are going to here uh, do here as well product controller at admin i just want to see that how we are sending the success message here we come to know here after like adding the product c here we are managing it like this okay so same thing we are going to copy this one because i forgot that how we are managing so here uh, we will simply uh, here return redirect back okay with this success message like this and uh, this one we are going to show like we are showing in the uh, products.bed uh, file we are going to open it will save over time we can copy the success message from here and we can simply add it in orders.blade.php file or uh, that order detail order detail uh, under admin okay so here we are going to paste this one and we are going to paste it uh, i think uh, uh section class content uh i think we must paste here okay so let's see that it will work fine or not so let's see now i'm going back we'll update now order status let's see oh okay so let's see now i'm going to update the order status to pending click on update 
yes order status has been updated successfully the message is coming fine okay we can see the order status has been updated here as well see we can able to update the pending status for this order so it's working fine you can see that we can able to update the order status like this the admin can able to update the order status okay so uh, in the next video we are going to manage these order status as well like we are going to add the history for the order status so the uh, admin can able that history the admin can able to show to the client as well okay uh, so that complete logs we are going to maintain for the order status like uh, when it when it is placed when it is shipped when it is like uh, all kind of details okay generally what the admin will do admin is going to update the status like in process okay so we'll update so then the next status first status is new then the next status is in process after that admin is going to update that to ship so whenever we will click on ship then the tracking details fields will also come like tracking number as well as the shipping uh, that uh, courier partner okay so those fields will come admin is going to update that those fields also we are going to show in the order history so there are those kind of things we are going to do for the manual shipment process as well okay uh, but in the next uh, video uh, we are going to uh, work on the order email uh, when we place the order uh, at the front end okay at that time we will also send the order email to the user so that is really important so the first we will uh, do that thing in the next video we are going to integrate the third party order template this time for the order mail after that we will come back uh, here okay so stay tuned for the next video uh, that's all for now have a nice time goodbye